Hello my friends, this is Michael with the Wupnik channel. Today is Monday, Labor Day 2020. Hey, you, ha, hmm. Most laptops are not very maintenance friendly. If you can open them at all, some of them are today uh, just glued shut, so forget about that. Uh, you need prying and opening tools to open this laptop. Here is a small selection. You, need, you see a plastic device like this here, or a smaller version, very useful. Here are those cards, just to go get into tight spaces, and then try to lift it up, uh, same card again, or here's something even thinner and this is kind of a metal and you try to scoop something up with this one or here's the same in plastic so you need these prying and opening tools in order to open this laptop Today I will show you how to replace the hard drive in a Dell Inspiron M5010 Let's take it apart. Let's get to the hard drive. So, first of all, take the, take the battery out. I already opened this door here. So take the battery out, put it somewhere else. As you can see here, here is a door to directly access uh, the RAM, that you can reconfigure the RAM, uh, which is nice. Yeah, you need those doors in order to do it easily, but here is no door for the hard drive, which means you have to take the whole laptop apart just to get to the hard drive. Another wonderful example how Dell is designing laptops. Let's take out all the screws. Come on, let's do it. Important, here under the door is another screw. Here is a screw which holds the optical drive in place. Let's get rid of this one. Where, look, wow. Now just move it here to the side. Bop, there it is. Here is the optical drive. Just put it somewhere at the side. Okay. You also have to remove the screws under this rubber uh, thingies here. You see rubber thingies everywhere. The best is take a uh, uh, take a screwdriver with a very uh, fine tip and just lift it out. Lift them out. Whoop! Here's one, and here is a rubber stop. Yep. Okay. Let's. 
lay them down as they came out uh, from from the laptop so that you know which rubber plug belongs to which uh, hole yep and there this is the front this is the front front all right and now you just change it again over to a normal Phillips and you take out the screws And now checking that no screw was forgotten. Yeah, it looks good. So now something more tricky is coming. Yeah, you cannot just lift off the back of the laptop. Nope. Yeah, Dell in its wisdom has decided in order to get to the hard drive, now you have to take out here the keyboard. Yep, I don't know which idiots have uh, uh, designed this laptop, but they were definitely idiots. Next step is you have to lift out this keyboard, which is pretty tricky. So please be extremely careful because you can easily rip out one of those keys and then basically you have to buy a new keyboard in order to do that. You can lift the uh, keyboard out with these very thin things here, these very thin uh, prying tools. For example, here, this card is already too thick. You don't get into the uh, uh, gap between keyboard and, and case to lift it out. It has to be here, these very thin ones, and it will work, yeah. Here on top of the keyboard, there are little notches which hold the uh, keyboard in place, which means you have to push down these notches with one of those tools and then try to lift it up here on the side and again be careful be careful yeah this is nothing for beginners here okay okay ah one corner is up Let's move to the next nose or whatever you can call it. Ah, coming. It is coming. Stupid Dell computer. Okay. Next one, good, good. And there's one left. Ha! Woof, made it. All right, please take it out carefully. It is connected here to this flat ribbon cable. Just flip open the uh, black strip here with a fingernail. Fl flap it open. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, open. Remove the keyboard and store at a safe place. Did everything fine? Yep. Well, that's the keyboard. Okay, so this is what we find underneath the keyboard. And now we have to utilize our screwdriver again. Okay. Remove that screw. Here's 
another one. And then here are more flat ribbon cables. You have to open up the lock, like this one, and this one, and that one, and remove the cable from the slot. Okay, this one is loose loose and number three so let's see if we can lift it up uh-huh it's coming up here already now we can utilize this uh, prying tool here and again Yeah, make some noise, but that's okay. That's all right. Ah, I forgot a screw. Now you just move it out like this. All right, this here is the back of the handrest where the also the keyboard is resting. Everything looks good. Let's put it at the side for later reassemble. And here we are. Here you see now the insides of this computer. Here is the hard drive. It is an old Seagate. 640 gigabytes let's see is there a production date uh, do, 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 do. date 95 Ooh, cannot be must be some kind of a date code so when you now take out this hard drive please be careful yeah it is you have to lift it out here you see lift it out straight up yeah straight up here is an adapter in order to fit here this Dell own interface as you can see here yeah it's a little bit strange but you can remove it just take it like that and move it apart and here you can see it's just a standard SATA hard drive and you can attach this adapter to any kind of uh, SATA hard drive here I have another one yeah you can now connect the adapter to the other hard drive and then you put it in and press it straight down that's it Yep, this is how you get to the hard drive of the Dell Inspiron M5010. My friends, that's it for today. Now you know how to remove uh, the old hard drive from this laptop and replace it, for example, here with a Western Digital Blue, which cost right now on Amazon $60. I think that's a good price. And even an old laptop is worth it, in my opinion, to replace the old hard drive with an SSD. It will give the laptop really a performance boost a big performance boost when you do that replacing the old hard drive with an SSD you have two choices you can either clone the contents of the old hard drive onto the new SSD 
which means no reinstallation of the OS operating system and applications and data is required. It hopefully will just work. I have another video here on my channel where I show you as a cloning procedure with Minitool Pro, which is a very good program. Um, other than that, oh yeah, uh, the other uh, possibility of what you can do, of course, is when you put in a new SSD, just a fresh install from scratch. Yeah, try to use the latest version of Windows 10, which is today Windows 10 version 2004. But be careful, some older laptops really don't like 2004. I have discovered it so far once where the laptop really crashed and blue screened after installing uh, Windows 10 version 2004. So clone it or reinstall it from, from scratch, it is up to you. Well, that's it for now. This is Michael with the Bubnik channel and if you like this video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe. It is really important for me that you subscribe to my channel. Alright my friends, well today is Labor Day Monday. I hope all you guys have a great and wonderful day and well, have a wonderful one and I will see you later in one of my next videos. Don't forget. Come back to my channel, alright? Well, that's it. Bye-bye. <laughs>